Today we are creating waves inside of the body and with the body. Hi and a warm welcome to this Lengs myofascial training practice. You can take a seat with the legs crossed and your right leg in front. Sit right on top of your sit bones so you can fully elongate your spine. Now, before we get into this practice for the seated exercise sequence, I would actually love to offer you a visualization. And it is as follows. You can imagine inside of your body, along your waistline, up your rib cage, you have broad elastic bands. And the aim is to always have these elastic bands a little bit tensioned. They are not going slack. So see how that works for you. Reach your arms out to the sides, fingertips on the floor. And now you are reaching your arms overhead with a generous arm circle. Lower your arms. Can you imagine that these elastic bands stretch upward very, very slightly as you raise your arms, just becoming a little bit more taut? Now, at the same time, there is a broad feeling in the chest and a length in the neck. One more arm circle overhead. Lower your arms to shoulder level. Inhale. And with your next exhalation, move the back of your hands together and then turn the palms up, open your arms. Exhalation, spiraling the shoulders in. Inhalation, spiraling them out. We go one more time and then we are adding on. So with your exhalation, tilt the pelvis back, curl the spine evenly. With your inhalation, center the pelvis, elongate the spine. We are waking up the center, the muscles of the pelvic floor, Deep abdominal muscles collaborating with the outer ones and then same for the back muscles. Shoulders also getting a really lovely warm up and we are mobilizing the hip joints, the spine and the shoulders. Keep your arms open, exhale, reach your arms overhead. With your inhalation, open your arms, lift up from the sternum, long arch. With your exhalation, you lower your hands. Inhale, left arm overhead, side bend to the right. Let the breath flow. Your right shoulder is soft. Your elbow is initially bent. Then you press your hand onto the floor. Lift, very slightly lower, and then reach out with your left arm. And just wait for the spine, the head to follow, eventually the other arm, then we have a more dynamic centering. So you reach up right, make it the biggest arc. You extend your left elbow slightly, you bend it a little bit. You reach out very slow. And then there's a more dynamic movement. It has an elastic feeling to it. Inhalation into the mermaid, long side bend. Exhalation, push with the hand. Release a little bit. And then you exhale, reach out. And it's a little bit of a more dynamic inhalation, followed by a feeling of recoil. <sighs> exhale, push. Inhalation, lower. As you exhale, reach out. Wait for the bone domino to take place. And exhale, inhale. We go one more time. Now, if you have been visualizing the elastic bands, so while your left elastic band is stretching here, your right one is still taut. Now, the left one is de-stretched, but it stays taut. Both of them are equally long. So focus on the left side, the shortening side. Keep it as long as possible. Really, really long. And now the lengthened one on the right side. Stay tension, still it stays long. And 
center, both arms overhead. And with your next inhalation, one arch. And you lower the hands. Let the breath flow. Turn around, take a seat quite far forward so your feet can even be off the mat. You are in basic long sit and if available, your knees or your legs are connected. Hold on behind the knees, keeping your heels in place, pull them slightly towards the sit bones, release the pull, engage through pelvic floor and abdominals deliberately, strongly, and then slide the feet along the floor with the help of your arms, you lift the legs and you roll back into restful pose completely releasing all the previously engaged muscles for a moment, a very short moment, <laughs> because now you are stepping your feet onto the floor. Place your legs hip distance and parallel. Center the pelvis, center the lower back. And with your next exhalation again, engage your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles to tilt the pelvis back, let the breath flow. Lift the pelvis, peel the spine away from the floor into a shoulder bridge position. Pause in shoulder bridge for a moment. So one of the aims is to open the front of the hip joints, strengthen the, the central core with your pelvic floor and abdominals, but we're strengthening from the inside out and also get activity and strength into a little bit the hip extensor muscles, but the spine extensors, that's what we're aiming for. Now, your two visualized elastic bands, they are very even here at the moment. So that's also a really nice feeling to internalize. With your next exhalation, initiate your rolling down movement. So in terms of your two elastic bands, the back part is now lengthening while the front part is shortening. So they are still engaged, although we are doing a pelvic curl, which is bilaterally balanced. Center the pelvis and then move your legs together. Open the legs into diamond pose and then fold your right leg over the left into an easy twist. Lift the right leg and it's like a domino again where the leg takes the pelvis, the pelvis takes the second leg. The left leg opens, the pelvis follows, the right leg follows. It's called flowing cartwheel and we keep mobilizing the hip joints and the spine here with this domino technique. Now it is a multidimensional mobilization very nicely complementing what we did in sitting and also not just with pelvis and spine, but shoulders. Now we are on the left side and you can roll onto your left side, take a massage ball and place the massage ball beneath the side of the hip and find the widest part of the hip. It's a very um, perceptible or feelable bone and if you like you go right onto the bone. Now the left leg is at ease. The more you can keep it uninvolved, the softer the tissue is, the deeper the massage. Freestyle with your right leg. So first we are cleaning the bone, that's the feeling, like a diamond making it shiny. So you can circle around the ball and sometimes in the fascial system, you know, you can have a little bit of a extra deposit of collagen. That is not really um, serving us best in the way we would like. And you can imagine it like a little bit of cobwebs on that diamond so you're clearing the cobwebs. And then we are changing direction here. So you can roll forward more towards the groin and then you roll back towards your gluteals. And there's a bit of an interesting dent 
And maybe if you just hang out here for a moment and roll around, you might find an interesting spot. And then you roll forward again towards the front of the pelvis. And then you roll to the back. And then in a slow zigzag pattern, we are massaging along the famous iliotibial band or iliotibial tract. Now, this is a highly collagenous band, and you want it to be collagenous. Collagen is like steel. And so this band, which is actually part of a much wider fascia that wraps around your thigh, you want it to be very, very resilient, very tough. So this is a good thing. Now you can't stretch it, um, you can't um, release it because you don't want to. But you can hydrate it and you can promote fluid flow around. And that's one of our aims here. So at one point, you are close to the knee. And when you're there, you can turn forward, make it a good weight-bearing exercise for your upper body as well. And now you're not quite in front. You're not quite on the side. You are if you like to know, on the vastus lateralis, a quadriceps muscle. And then you can bend the knee and extend the leg. And go one more time. You bend and extend. And then you can turn more forward, so you're more in the middle of the knee. And you do two knee bends again. So we are stimulating quadriceps there with the massage and also with the knee bend. And then roll more to the inside, <laughs> not quite the inside, but towards the inside, you two knee bends. And we very um, nicely cover the quadriceps muscles and fascia here close to the knee. And then you roll to the more outside again, not quite to the side, but again, you're not in front, you're not on the side. And now you push the body very slowly down. The ball is rolling up. Again, your quadriceps muscles, your vastus lateralis. And what I like to <laughs> visualize, and I actually believe I feel it, is like I'm pushing a tissue wave up my thigh. And the more relaxed the leg is, the more this tissue wave becomes feelable. Very beautiful feeling like a tissue lift. And then you can, when you're high up, you can even roll over the hip joint to the very top of your hip bone. It's a bony protrusion, it's feelable there. And when you have arrived there, you can roll on your back. And then <clears throat> for a moment, just extend your legs and you can roll them a little bit, wriggle them and tune in if you like, close your eyes and just tune in if there is a different feeling in your left leg compared to the right leg. And with different feeling, what I mean, your leg might feel longer. It might feel broader, like the, the, the dimensions feel bigger. The shape might have changed in terms how clearly do you perceive the shape of the leg temperature might be different, or connectedness of the leg to the trunk in comparison to the other leg. And maybe what you feel is completely different, that's great, and m maybe there's not a big change in at the moment in your the way you feel, and that's completely fine too. It's more bringing awareness to that part of the body. 
And then you can open your eyes, turn the knees towards the ceiling, slide the legs back so your feet are on the floor, knees bent, and then with awareness again, <laughs> not that we don't pay attention, usually we always pay attention, but here extra awareness to right, left differences possibly, tilt the pelvis back, pelvic curl, roll up. Is there a difference, right and left, in the leg, maybe in the lower back? And then you can roll down. Because the deep fascia of the leg is one with deep fascia of the back. So by treating the legs, draw your knees towards the chest, we can have a positive influence on the back. Lift head and shoulders off the floor, press your legs into the hands, roll up into a spine stretch, and then sitting tall in basic long sit. Turn around. Let's move again to rather to the edge of the mat. And then again, sitting tall, tilt the pelvis back. Use your hands to lift the legs off the floor, roll back into restful pose. Step your feet onto the floor, close the legs, open the knees into diamond, and then fold your left leg over the right, easy twist, Open the left leg, wait for the pelvis and the other leg to follow, easy twist on the other side. So the combination, go from side to side in your own rhythm. Combination is called flowing cartwheel. And as I mentioned before, we have a wonderful mobilization for the hips and the spine in a very easeful manner. So this is lubricating the joints also aiding fluid flow to the discs, intervertebral discs, and same for the fascia around your spine. So you want fluid flow, this is good. <laughs> and then we go one more time until you can roll onto your right side and then take the massage ball again and place the massage ball beneath the side of the hip. And if you like, you start right on the bone. And then we start polishing the diamond. So circular motions around the bone. Whenever you find a place where you want to pause, you just pause. And sometimes interesting can be a little prickly. And, uh, you know, either we can roll on swiftly or we can just hang out there for a moment and see if we can relax the leg, breathe slowly. Can we make the sensation a bit more quiet? And now, going fairly high up, roll forward towards the groin, Roll back towards your gluteals and just stay here for a moment and just roll little circles back there. This is a, that dent that sometimes really benefits from some extra attention. And then you roll forwards again and you roll back. You make it very generous. And then we zigzag our way down the leg. Now this is stimulating, this is hydrating, squeezing, it's like I like to envision it, squeezing old fluid out of the tissue and then as we have rolled on, fresh nutrients and fluid are drawn into the tissues. Now I'll give you another imagery that I really like for my iliotibial band. You know when you have a paintbrush 
and the paint is a little dry and you make one stroke and then you can see the lines from the brush. So <laughs> I visualize my iliotibial band sometimes like a really, you know, tough um, stroke of paint. And now as I go across the lines, I'm smoothing out the lines. Maybe that works for you too. <laughs> So we are going across the most strongest fibers here. And then when you have arrived on your knee, you can turn forward. Again, make this a solid um, strengthening exercise for your upper body too. And you're not quite in front, not quite on the side. You're on your vastus lateralis. And then you can bend the knee and extend the leg. When you bend the knee, we enhance the tension in the fascia. When you extend the leg, you release it slightly. Then you can turn more to the middle of the knee. Two knee bends again, same, more emphasis on the rectus femoris of the quadriceps group. Beneath it is the vastus intermedius, in <laughs> case that's interesting. And then you go a little bit more towards the inside and you also do two knee bends there. And then rolling again to the spot where you're not quite in the middle, not quite on the outside and you slowly push the body down. Maybe again feeling a fluid wave of tissue that is rolling up your thigh. Can go as high high as the top of the hip bone. And then roll on your back. Moving the ball out of the way. You can extend both legs, roll the legs out and in if you like. And then you can close your eyes or not and bring your awareness inward and just again noticing, noticing if, they're, if your legs feel different than to before we did these massage exercises. And extend your awareness to the whole leg, also down to your calves, to your feet the deep fascia that's wrapping around the thigh is connected, it's the same as the fascia that wraps around your lower leg that connects to your foot. So sometimes you feel these changes spreading all the way down and all the way up that we are creating locally. This is good. <laughs> then you can open your eyes, turn the knees up, slide one foot back, slide the other foot back. So both feet grounded, legs hip distance and parallel. Engage your center, tilt the pelvis back, curl up with a pelvic curl into a shoulder bridge. Open the front of the hips and then slowly roll down again. It's a balancing on the go exercise. So right, left balance and also inside out. Then you can draw one knee towards the chest, the other knee towards the chest, restful pose, turning into a very active pose when you lift head and shoulders off the floor, press your legs into the hands, basic rolling up into a spine stretch. Sit right on top of your sit bones to finish and turn forward. Take your left leg to the front in tailor sit or cross-legged sitting. 
reach your arms out to the sides, find length in your spine. If you still have the image present from the elastic bands, you can work with this too. So arms overhead, open your arms to shoulder level with your next exhalation, a curl. With your inhalation, you center. Exhale, arms overhead. Arch with your inhalation, lift the sternum. With your exhalation, center, lower your hands. Right arm overhead, inhale. As you exhale, reach your right hand towards the floor. It can even touch the floor. Inhale, take your right arm overhead. As you exhale, you lower the arm, you wait for domino, and then it's a more dynamic motion, has a little bit of an elastic feel, slow motion, inhale. Reach down towards the floor with your left hand, just in front of the right. Arm overhead, long side bend again, and then the domino, you wait, in, one more time. So we have the mermaid with spiraling, multidimensional mobilization for the rib cage and the spine, lowering, <laughs> tensioning the fascia, this is beautiful, makes us stronger, also enhancing glide, one more time to the other side, and nourishing the fascia. So enhancing the fluid flow. The spiraling motion of the rib cage and the spine also is wonderful for the organs. So it vitalizes the inner organs. Center, both arms overhead. Go slow, 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 and then one arch. And exhale, release. You can now turn sideways again into a kneeling position and we want to make use of all this juiciness in our fascial system and the limberness of our hip joints and spine with a wonderful wave series. So you can fold forward into a child's pose, circle your arms overhead, and then you glide your hands away from the knees as you are lifting the upper body, rolling forward into a kneeling front support. So a kneeling front support, the shoulders are broad. Now this is good weight bearing strength, balanced here. And with your hands in place, you press the hands forward and you shift the body back. Pelvis centered, spine centered. Shift the body forward. We just go one more time like this. So this is a wonderful centering exercise where pelvis and spine stay shifted. Core stabilization is in focus. One more time forward into a kneeling front support. Now we shift back. And then small wave, you exhale, lift the pubic bone, roll forward. With your inhalation, you shift back. With your exhalation, engage your pelvic floor and abdominal muscles deliberately. And with your inhalation, shift back. There's a gradual release. Exhalation, curl, small wave. Inhalation, shift back. So we have a wonderful combination of core strength when we roll forwards with the wave in combination with core stabilization when we shift back. Strengthening pelvic floor, abdominals from the inside out, strengthening deep back muscles, and once again, promoting glide, fluid flow, and gentle tensile strength in the fascia. Shift back, curl into a child's pose, 
up into a low kneeling position. Raise your arms forward and upward with the arm arc. Arm circle with an active forward fold. And then like the wave, you exhale, tilt the pelvis back, roll up. Open your arms, let the breath flow. Place your hands to the front of the hips. And then with your next inhalation, you lift the pubic bone, then the sternum. That's the feeling. Center, let the breath flow. Sit back and lift back up. So the visualization of the elastic bands, if you that, still have that in mind, see if you can <laughs> stretch the front of the bands and keep the back of the bands long. So you inhale into an arch, stretching the front of the bands, keeping the back long. You sit back, find balance. You just let the breath flow. We go one more time. Can you feel a lift? from the pubic bone, across the hip joints, to your sternum, and then sit all the way back. Fold forwards into a child's pose. Circle your arms overhead, and then glide your hands further forward, roll forward with a small wave into kneeling front support. So we are kneeling front support. The hip joints are open here in a centered alignment almost and now you actively lift from the pubic bone lower the pelvis lift and lengthen so lengthening the front of the elastic bands keeping the back long and then you push the hands forward your spine is still in a long arch you shift back it's called happy dog position with your exhalation, small wave, roll forward. With your inhalation, lower the pelvis, lift the sternum. Exhalation, push back. With your inhalation, pause in happy dog. With your exhalation, small wave, roll forward. Slowly lower the pelvis. Keep that tensile strength in the elastic bands. Push back. And again, there is a pause with your inhalation. To then exhale even more deeply as you roll forward. Opening the hip joints actively. And we have a balanced hip and spine opening. We go one more time. Now, all of the spine, exhalation one more time, rolling forward, stays long. As you lower the hips... Look forward, raise the sternum, then push back and start to look down into a child's pose again, into a low kneeling position. So we have been creating a lot of waves in the fluid fascial system. And now we do one final massage and an integration exercise for the upper body. So you can place the balls behind your knees. It's a calf and hamstring massage that enhances fluid flow to the feet. You sit tall with your pelvis centered. So that's the integration part. Your hands can relax on the hands and then you on the legs. And then we do small bouncing movements. So that's a deeper massage as you, you know, as the weight settles and then becomes a bit less deep as you bounce up. And there, now, if you like, you lean slightly forward and you keep the spine fully elongated. Then you lift up again and we go forward. Just a little bit more emphasis on stability in the back. So spine extensors. And then coming back up. And we go one more time. So centered, dynamic stability for integration. And then coming back to center. You can bounce all the way up. And then remove the balls from behind your knees. Take a seat. And I hope you feel refreshed like your inner ocean has been moved.